Hi guys, I'm just doing a video. This is for all signs for anybody watching. Um, first card out we have is the Knight of Swords. Um, so I see that someone is wanting to rush in and communicate with you. Um, I get this feeling though that they are not showing you this. You don't know this. Um, Page of Swords. So they're also thinking a lot about you. Um, so much to the point that they might be spying on you, stalking your social media. Um, I'm getting the feeling that this is an ex someone that you've dealt with in the past. Um, could be a fire sign. We have the Knight of Wands, so that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, or an air sign. We have the Queen of Swords, so that could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, but someone... This may be someone who has been... Uh, kind of harsh like with you in the past in regards to their communication could be a Gemini with a magician here but they are trying to manifest you they are thinking about you a lot they're thinking about a future with you this weighs heavily on their mind uh, whatever they're going through personally in their life, it may be burdening, but they are persevering, or I feel like you <laughs> are almost burdening to them for them to think about. They don't want to think about you all the time, but they do. Um, with the Six of Swords, they want things to move into a um, more peaceful, calmer situation with you. Ten of Swords. Something in the past happened that uh, neither one of you were happy with. Either they hurt you or you hurt them. Maybe there was some harsh words spoken, harsh communication, but they regret it. Um, but the Ten of Swords... Tens meaning the end means that this cycle is either almost complete or complete now or going to be very soon. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, justice card. They want things to be fair with you. They want things to be balanced, equal, give and take. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Five of Wands. So um, this person may have felt like they had to compete for your attention in the past. Um that might have caused them to feel insecure. Um, but, you know, it also made them realize your worth, that you weren't going to settle because you had other options. Um, someone's realizing how much emotion that they have for you that maybe they didn't realize before. The star card could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. I'm seeing a lot of air. There's a lot of swords here. Okay, two of swords popped out. Um, someone's trying to make a decision. Sometimes in order to manifest someone into your life, you need to be really clear with the universe about what it is that you want. So that could be what is preventing the two of you coming together. If you go back and forth, if you can't decide sometimes what it is that you want. Wow. But I see that as soon as you do, something very stable and long-term could potentially 
manifest for you. We have the lovers, so that's a second Gemini card coming out. The Queen of Cups. I see that as you open up emotionally in your life in general and towards this person, um, the two of you will have more of a stable, grounded connection. This is definitely a soulmate in your life. This is someone who has come into your life for a reason, a purpose to teach you something. Um, the male energy here has the potential to be very stable and grounded with the King of Pentacles here. Um, but I think it's only after the two of you come together or manifest each other into your life um, that the two of you will bring out these qualities within each other bottom of the deck we have the nine of cups so um good omen to continue to manifest what you want because the potential is here right now to uh, get what it is that you truly desire so wow very exciting i'm glad that was a good reading for you guys Let's see, I'm going to pick a charm. This is for my subscribers, whoever's watching. We have the um, moon. So there may be some hidden things that you don't know about right now but you will be finding out late at a later time when the time is right um also use your intuition when it comes to this connection we have a cat so i see that as a symbol of luck good fortune here um, you know, cats also have nine lives, so I feel that the two of you may have been given, like, multiple chances by the universe within this connection. Wow, another cat. <laughs> So the two of you may have a cat. Wow. And we have a snowflake. So um, to me that symbolizes that this connection is uh, very special, very rare, like a snowflake, beautiful. All right. Let's do some angel oracle cards. What are the messages for anybody who's watching this spirit? Please guide us with these angel oracles. Okay, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I'm not sure if somebody works too much and they try to take their minds off of their issues by using work as a distraction and it comes in between the relationship. Uh, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, um, this might, well, I was going to say this might be someone who you don't realize it's them. Maybe you guys are friends and you don't feel like it's that type of vibe between the two of you, but you realize over time, as your connection deepens or grows, that you really do have feelings for this person. 
Yeah, because we have romantic feelings. So your feelings are w real and worth exploring. So, you know, you don't want to pass up an opportunity on love because, you know, you're too afraid to open up or explore other possibilities than what you were expecting and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So that card always reminds me of like temperance with the angels because, um, you know, sometimes we want things to happen right away, but if they did, it would maybe not work out or it would break. So it's good. Sometimes it's good that it doesn't happen when we want it to, right? All right. So that's your reading for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.